Right, so vocal layers. This is where I find producing most fun because it's so creative um, and you can just really build from the ground up and create something really huge. And I could listen to these vocals on their own uh, and still find that I, I really, I really enjoy them. So this is from our cover of Good For You. This is Dylan, the other half of Culture Code, singing. Um, and I'll just walk you through the layers that we've got in here. So, my bad. So we've got, if I just show you from the second half of the verse, we've got the lead. And good for you, I guess that you've been working on yourself. But if you listen in the context of everything that's in the vocals, you can hear it's not just the lead. And good for you, I guess that you've been working on yourself. I guess that therapist I found through she... So we've got some soft background vocals. And good for you, I guess that you've been working on yourself. Which I got Dylan to record the verse twice, but at a higher octave, at the octave above. Um, one pan hard left, one pan hard right, so that they just wrap around the lead vocal. And there's also a vocoder. Thank you for you, I guess that you've been working on yourself. I... There's actually two, so there's one. Thank you for you, I guess. And two. Thank you for you. Uh, that just creates a, just a nice thick vocal. And good for you, I guess that you've been working on yourself. And then when we get to the chorus, that's where it all just gets stacked and huge. But good for you, you look happy and healthy, not me. If you ever care to ask, good for you, you're doing great at it without me. <laughs> okay, so let's let's see what's going on here. Let's find the lead first of all. Uh, where is the lead? Is this the lead? I think so. But good for you, you look happy and healthy, not me, if you ever care to ask. That's the lead. So here's the first doubles. But good for you, you look happy and healthy, not me, if you ever care to ask. You can hear by, by themselves, they're very, like they're not perfect at all. Um, but in the whole mix of the song, you can't really hear it because the lead is taking the main stage and then these are just backups um you can see that they're panned 50 right and 50 left uh very chopped up so that you so that they fit perfectly in time with the lead um so they're the first doubles then there's plenty more there's there's the lower lead and this is achieved by just duplicating the lead vocal once you've got it all processed and stuff so that you keep the processing on it. Then just taking it down an octave. I believe we use Little Little Boy in this case, but you can use anything. Um, it has a bit of distortion, a bit of compression. Uh, and that, that is it. It's And it's dry as well. And then main background vocals. Now this is the mixed down project, so I can't show you all the individual layers, but I'm sure there was about six of them of Dylan just singing this exact same thing. Um, but you have to do six different takes. You can't just do one take and split it six times because you'll get phasing issues because it's the exact same waveforms. So you do six different takes. You can do some 100% left and right, then some at like 40% left and right, and then some at 25% left and right. So you just build in a bigger image. Um, and then we have the vocoder. Looking for you, you look happy and healthy, not me if you ever care to ask. So for the solo effort we've seen so far, it creates this. But good for you, you look happy and healthy, not me, if you ever care to ask. Then on the second half of the chorus, we have a choir coming in. I think this is just Dylan. Uh... Yeah, so I played the piano notes that I wanted him to sing. He sang them notes. We, we put them all together. So it's just the chords of the track, but just in choir form. Uh... some Charlie Poof on your ass there. Uh, and then, this was funny. So this is basically just me and Dylan in my bedroom studio at various parts around the studio just shouting the chorus as loud as we could as if we were at like a football stadium or or something like that. I've lost my mind, I've spent the night crying on the floor in my bathroom but you're so unaffected I really don't get it. I guess good for you. And the way you do that is is you you put on different voices 
like Dylan was putting on like a Scottish accent and Irish accent. I was like holding my nose to get like a really nasally one like this. Um, and you record about 10, 15 different takes and then comp them all together. Uh, no auto tuning because you want it to sound as natural as possible. Like it is a bunch of people just screaming the song back at you. Uh, a lot of reverb, a lot of compression, and just mix it in with the vocals. And then what you get is, we solo that with everything else. Uh, lead and backgrounds. I've lost my mind, I've spent the night crying on the floor in my bathroom. But you're so unaffected, I really don't get it. I guess good for you. If we take away them crowds, it loses the power. I've lost my mind, I've spent the night. I've lost my mind, I've spent the Especially on the pre-drop. Good for you. Good for you. Um, and the only thing I haven't shown you is just these reverse vocals. with a compressor for sidechain, just sidechaining against the lead vocal so that in the gaps, the, the reverb the re reverse vocal comes up and then when the vocal comes in, that ducks out to make space. Um, but yeah, that, that's all the layers of the vocals um, together sound absolutely huge. But good for you, you look Especially in this part. Get it, I guess. Good for you. Sweet.